Thank you for watching our video on the operation of the BioSave bone mill. It is a terrific alternative to the current bone mills in the market, and you will notice how easy this product works versus the competition. Prior to placing bone into the bone mill chamber, look to see that the chamber is unobstructed. As we transfer bone to the mill, notice we are only placing two large pieces in the chamber. It is important that the bone mill operator not overload the chamber. The amount shown here is considered a good amount to process. Once a desired amount of bone is in the chamber, place the plunger in the chamber and lightly depress until you feel cutter engagement. It is a feel that you will develop for the amount of pressure to place on the plunger. But the rule of thumb is a light press with increasing force until cutter bone engagement. You will feel the bone being reduced as the plunger incrementally drops lower into the chamber. Once the knob of the mill no longer resists turning, it is likely all the bone is reduced. To see the results, pull the lower tray out to see if the bone is at the desired size. For the purposes of this video, we will reduce the bone one more time to achieve a small bone size. You will notice after the first pass of the bone that a granular size is 3 to 5 millimeters on average. For foot and ankle procedures, this may be ideal. However, for spine applications, this size is likely too large and needs reduction. The bone mill will size bone to the surgeon's preference, a very unique selling feature. Transferring the bone from the tray to the chamber allows for further size reduction of the bone. Once all the bone is back in the chamber, the operator aggressively pushes down on the plunger to compress the bone into the bone mill chamber. This compression process allows the cutters to shear through the larger bone fragments to reduce it again by almost half. Once the knob has no resistance, the milling process is complete. Please notice how much smaller the second pass reduces the bone. This is a highly reproducible process to size control bone to a surgeon's preference, a very unique proposition versus the competition. In closing, this procedure took 90 seconds to mill bone to a desired size. It is the most reproducible and easy to use bone mill available. I hope you enjoyed this video and if there are any questions, reach out to your representative to learn more.